TinyPilot is a Linux distribution based on TinyCore Linux specifically to run the PyPilot autopilot with a small display, keypad, and infrared sensor for remote control. TinyPilot runs from RAM once booted for superior reliability. The display can show information including power consumption and the battery voltage, which agrees with my solar controller. If Wi-Fi is available, a web app can configure the autopilot. It can be accessed by IP address or pipilot.io. Once mounted to the boat, the inertial sensors need to be leveled. Once level, automatic compass calibration can work better. They can be aligned to magnetic north by entering a degree offset. This ensures accurate headings and correct heel angles are reported. The max current should be set so the autopilot can detect end of travel and in case the steering is jammed. The current needs to be set high enough to not trigger in normal movement but to stop at the end of travel. There are also optional stop switches and rudder feedback can be used as well. The movement period can be adjusted to set short or long movements. This is a trade-off for performance and power consumption. The autopilot can be tuned by adjusting the gains. Different settings trade abilities to handle conditions, comfort, and power consumption. The language can also be changed. The Raspberry Pi communicates with the motor controller through an optically isolated serial port. The motor controller directly drives a brush DC motor. You can see this old Tiller Pilot's motor is directly wired to the controller. Any infrared TV remote can work. When the autopilot is disabled, the drive can be manually controlled. If the max current is correct, the motor stops quickly after stalling and displays overcurrent on the screen. Once engaged, the actual course is shown above the course to hold. I will now disassemble the tiny pilot computer showing its components. There are two hats that plug into the Raspberry GPIO header. The first has the MPU 9255 sensors, an infrared sensor, and a waterproof connector to the motor controller. The other hat provides a control interface to the autopilot with a Nokia 5110 display and pins for a keypad. This one is optional, but without it, all configuration must be done from another device using either the web app, OpenCPN plugin, or OpenPlotter interface. Now reassembling the autopilot computer. All of the individual components are readily available online. I am opening the motor controller. You can see this particular controller uses an Arduino. The Arduino monitors current, voltage, and temperature while driving a drone electronic speed controller. The brushless speed controller is reprogrammed using custom firmware to drive brushed motors. There are optional pins for rudder sense and end of travel stops. There is a blade fuse, reverse polarity protection, temperature protection, and optical isolation for data communication. The controller can fit into this enclosure, but if mounted in a larger box or a metal box with better cooling, the current handling can be much higher. For motors that only draw a few amps, this is adequate. The Tiny Pilot disk image can be downloaded. For more information, visit pipilot.org and post questions on the forum.